Okay, so this is Mario once again with MIA Micro Flight, and uh, I'm in the process of uh, uh, fixing one of the four machines, uh, Anikuga K3 Mega original machines, that had issues with the power uh, supplies, bad capacitors. So you can see this one, you can see my earlier video that I did, which uh, talks about the um, what I did and how I arrived at the uh, culprits, which are these capacitors, they went bad, and so it's not able to put out 12 point uh, volts uh, to 12.5, which is typical for the output that you need for the uh, components. They require that type of voltage. Anyway, these are 25 amp power supplies, the original ones, and I ended up buying um, one from Amazon, the only one that I could find uh, in a similar package. Now, I tried very hard to find uh, the uh, replacements for any cubic, and any, any cubic has been very, uh, uh, very, very uncooperative uh, in this respect. I send them uh, various emails to see if they can help me out here with, uh, I mean, they promised to send me power supplies and control boards for my four machines, and they have not come through with that uh, uh, with that promise. So I had to uh, uh, look for other means, and this is where I'm at right now. I ended up buying this power supply that's in close approximation to the um, to the anti-cubic one, but everything is different. Uh, this uh, is a slightly... Uh, or you know you can see how much bigger this power supply is in length and so it also has a little more width uh, to it um, the fan is on the other side as opposed to this one you know with the, with the uh, terminals on facing this way and also the terminals are, are reversed on these power supplies in the original anti-cubic the input is over here on the left hand side and the output the DC output is on the right hand side these the input is on the right, AC input, and the DC output is on the left. So it's totally different. Also, the um, the access to the, if you wanted to access the uh, 220, 110 uh, voltage uh, selection switch on the original ones is, is on the left side, on these other ones is on the right. So it's not going to fit properly on inside the uh, base of the anti-cubic uh, uh, machines. I tried uh, fitting this uh, both ways, and it, it just doesn't doesn't. I mean, it'll fit inside there if you can find a way to uh, to retain it. Uh, yeah, the the power supply will work because this is uh, even a better power supply than this one, being that it's 30 amps and not 25 amps. Uh, and I opened up the the um, this power supply. I know I'm voiding the warranty. I don't care about that because I, I bought it you know, for 20 bucks, so I don't I don't care about that. But I wanted to see what the insides, I wish I would have done a video when I did that. Um, I put it back together already. And uh, it's got um, it's got some uh, beefier capacitors than the Anacubic uh, i3 Mega. They're in the uh, 600 microfarads, 250 uh, volts, same voltage as the Anacubic uh, i3 Mega uh, power supply. But the capacity, or the uh, capacitance, uh, is a little bit higher on on these 30 amps, obviously because you're know, supplying 30 amps instead of 25 amps. Uh, also, the boards happen to be kind of similar, but I do like the Anacubic original board a lot better. It's a nice uh, green board. Uh, the, these are just uh, beige boards. Um, but the capacitors on these are similar to these uh, green ones here. These green ones are high efficiency, a little bit higher, higher efficiency than your typical uh, regular capacitors. And so they're using, they're being consistent on this this particular brand here. This is a uh, power supply ACDC. I, I don't know who, who makes this. Menzo. Menzo is the uh, the company. It says so on the label. Uh, you probably can't see it in this video, but I'm just reading it off. Menzo, um, 12 volt, uh, 30 amp uh, DC universal uh, power supply for computer pro project. So it's a, it's a nice uh, nice power supply. Unfortunately, I cannot um, fit it uh, as this one here. And rather than me trying to fiddle with uh, custom uh, fittings here, I want to reuse the same mounting um, positions here as on the Anacubic. I, I thought maybe I could swap the internals from this one to this one, but you can see the size is different, so I can't do that. Otherwise, it, um, that would have been uh, one way to to get this this to fit in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for the uh, capacitors that I ordered to uh, replace the original ones and then I'll, I'll be placing these back online 
on these uh, machines. So I'm glad I only bought one of these because uh, even though I, I could use this for other projects, uh, LED drivers, whatever, uh, I only bought one and I'm, I'm glad because I, I would have been stuck with three power supplies, which I really don't need right now, uh, you know, um, if they don't fit the, the machines. So this is where I'm at. I thought I'd capture a video of this. So for anybody that's uh, uh, thinking of doing something similar, I know the Anacubic i3 Mega has been around for a while, and, and probably you know you, most people uh, these days are probably buying the newer versions. But these are very nice machines, as I said many times. The only thing is that Anacubic has not been very cooperative in uh, helping me uh, resolve some of these problems, uh, and that has to do with customer support. I don't know if it's at the level of the uh, um, I don't know if any cubic is directly getting my emails and my my issues, or has been getting because I've been dealing directly with Obi, one of their techs. I don't I don't know if he's even still around, but they have not responded to any of my latest emails, and this has been going on for a couple of years, uh, believe it or not. I've been trying to get any cubic to uh, you know stand by their word. They said they were going to send me power supplies and control boards. I don't even think they're manufacturing these power supplies uh, for these machines anymore. So maybe that's one of the reasons. I don't know. I wish Anacubic would respond and would send me something. Um, you know, I was uh, angry with them or I was a bit upset uh, with reason, with good reason, because they were not coming through and I was getting a lot of runaround uh, telling me that, uh, you know, the, I, my issues were not with power supplies and with the, with the control boards and they had sent me some of these. Uh, connector boards which have nothing to do with the issues of uh, the power supplies not putting out the right voltage and I proved that you know by taking it out and doing some tests myself and finding out that these things are not um, not reading what they're supposed to be reading and you know and obviously you know these these are the, the culprits so this is why I'm doing these videos is because Anacubic has not been very cooperative but I'm also doing it for the viewer that is interested in uh, or has been thinking of doing something similar or has issues with the power supply and wants to convert to maybe a, a, a better brand or a, a much uh, higher rating such as this one this is a 30 amp as I said uh, and um, and so this is uh, the dilemma right now so I'm just going to wait to get this, these capacitors if anybody wants to know where I'm getting these uh, put that in the comments below and I will give you that information um, I just don't have that information right now with me and I forgot uh, uh, where exactly I got them uh, from but I will uh, look at that information if you want to uh, to do similar so this is where I'm at right now